Just when you thought there couldn't be a brand new smartphone form factor, a new take, we talked so much recently about these folding devices. And of course, we've talked so much as well about notches, hole punches. What is the futuristic smartphone? Well, Vivo, they're, they're taking another shot at it with this new concept device. They're not selling this thing right now, but who knows, it could be an indication into an eventual product that they do sell. So what's special about the Apex? Well, they got rid of buttons. There's no mechanical buttons, no clicky buttons. There are instead capacitive buttons, touch areas on the side of the device that you can tap. It'll read your, your finger like any capacitive button you're used to, and then that will be your input method. But the other thing is there's no ports either, no holes. There's not a front-facing camera at all in, in sight. For me, the front-facing camera, not a major thing that I'm engaging with. So I've talked before about the potential for a smartphone option that just does away with the front-facing camera altogether. And that's what they've done here in the form of the Apex 2019. No front-facing camera, no charge port as well. With the Apex, You've got some pins on the back, magnetic pins, similar to like a MagSafe connector. This little cable will find the correct position on the back of the device in order to charge it up and give you more speed than what wireless charging is capable of. That said, I still don't really understand why it wasn't just wireless charging or if this even will have wireless charging. Again, it's just a concept at this particular point in time. Another kind of interesting aspect of this device is how it deals with sound. What they've done here is they've used some under display technology to have audio uh, transmit through the glass of the display of the phone. As you can see here, sounds coming up pretty loud and clear and I didn't hear any distortion. Probably the most exciting thing for me, based on what I've seen so far, is the fingerprint scanner. Vivo's doing something different. What they're showing off is a full screen fingerprint scanner. So you can touch your thumb to any spot on the screen without any kind of thought. Now that is currently one of the downsides of the in-display fingerprint scanner. With this concept phone here, instead you don't even think about it. You tap anywhere on the display, you pick it up, you tap anywhere on the display, and it will read the fingerprint and unlock. So that's a, a fairly big difference in how you interact with the device and how you unlock it. And this is important because of course, throughout the day, you unlock your device a ton. Now, in terms of specs, they're talking about potentially a Snapdragon 855, up to 12 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. So it's obviously targeted as a flagship device if it does eventually launch in this format, you can expect it to have a flagship price to go with it. We've seen these motorized pop-up cameras and the comment section of these videos is always full of people that are apprehensive about the potential for, for breakdown, uh, the potential for water damage. But by doing away with anything like that, without any uh, front-facing camera mechanism, you now have this solid body, this solid device, which should be less susceptible to the, to the potential drawbacks with the motorized components we've seen up until this point. In an era where manufacturers are already eliminating ports, things like headphone jacks and so on, are you ready for this kind of concept? Are you ready to do away with ports in general? It does seem that buttons are evaporating in our lives, or at least their importance is being diminished via software. This is the natural progression. I'm just not sure that we're there yet. The big question here is the front-facing camera or lack thereof. Is that, is that something you're prepared to live with or do you need a solution for a front-facing camera? Must there be one in a smartphone for you to consider purchasing it? Or could you live a life without a selfie cam? Do you need the selfies? We talked about this idea of no front-facing camera giving you a, a full-screen display and now we might potentially have it. That's kind of exciting, though I'm not so certain that everyone's ready for it.